Hello, I'm Julia Steinbacher. And I am Manuela Geier. We both handle sustainability issues within logistics here at Dürr Systems in Germany. We get to know each other during Julia's time as a working student here at Dürr. Her studies are focused on sustainability and resource efficiency issues, two topics that are becoming increasingly more important in logistics. We would like to reduce our emissions, but to do so, we first of all need a clear picture of our transport operation and of our carbon footprint. That's why Julia worked on quantifying greenhouse gas emissions in our logistics as a part of her bachelor thesis. In logistics, everything centers around delivering to our customers on time. For this purpose, we transport our goods by ship, plane, train and truck to 114 different countries. So logistics flows are herefore complex. There was already a method in logistics for roughly estimating the climate footprint. However, this was revenue-based, meaning that more greenhouse gas emissions were estimated for high revenue projects than for lower revenue projects. But for example, transport routes were not taken into account here. In order to be able to make our transports more climate-friendly, we have further developed the calculation method. So it's now based on the distance traveled and the transport weight. In this way, we are now able to closely monitor and control our transports. Our new dashboard shows us the defined key figures, enabling us to identify potential emission savings. In order to get a better idea of this, we evaluate a project in Europe using our new calculation method as an example. A total of 1,742 transports were carried out for this project, of which two by rail, six by air, 14 by sea, 488 by courier and last but not least 1232 by truck. This generated 1044 metric tons of CO2 equivalents through logistics alone. It's hard to imagine how much that is. So here's a comparison. For the considered project, the emissions related to logistics are equivalent to the emissions caused by annual consumption of coffee by all employees of the whole Dürr group. Upstream and downstream processes necessary to get the coffee into the cup, like growing coffee beans, processing, transport and disposal, were also taken into account here. <laughs> to offset these emissions, within one year we would have to plant around 84,000 trees. Making the carbon footprint of transport measurable through our new calculation method was only the first step. Now we know where we can start to save emissions and logistics. In a second step, we will roll out our new calculation method throughout the Dürr Group. In this way, we want to reduce our emissions and logistics on a global scale. Mm -hmm.